This is where my brain doesn't do that. I'm just like, I don't know. It's got cards in the deck. I'll play them. Maybe I'll win. Like, it's, it's, I need someone else to let me know how doomed I am. Wait, there's nobody playing the game? Um, oh my god, sealed mode died, guys. It's over. That's oh, it. The savior of gods and it's over. What? This never the happens at 8 a.m. Yeah. People are dodging Meepo. Isn't Meepo playing in these hours? Think so. Yeah, everyone's dodging Meepo, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, Obi, that could make sense, like retiring, but they have to set up other stuff. I just think you shouldn't be able to retire pools. I think that's as simple as that. Hutch, it's good to see you, man. You've been playing Sealed? What you been up to, I bro? Mean, I, I think it's okay to retire Sealed just to keep mental state for some people. If they're super tilted and they just see this kind of pool and they want to retire it, don't force them to play it out that they don't want to. But yeah. You just shouldn't get your, to your tokens back. You should just be like, all right. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> like literally <laughs> none. I just... It's a $3 sealed mode. It just comes back to kind of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. at a certain point, we're tiptoeing around $3. I just can't, you know? I'm trying to be understanding of people's situations. At a certain point, it's like a trading card game with a thing that costs $3 in it. It's like, you know? Yeah, trading card games are expensive as well. That's, that's the thing. It's not like access to medicine or food. It's access to the uh, premium mode in a trading card game. Even though I understand I am Scrooge McDuck and I, I do want everyone to have a chance to play. I, know, I get it, but... Anyway, I'm I'm on the Scrooge McDuck side of three bucks is fine. You walk uphill both ways like I did, you, you whippersnappers. All right, so we'll send back Spiral Golem. Yeah. So we're going uh, second. I'll send back Elder probably. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, and and definitely. I'm very greedy with my bullet guns. So you're looking I for ones and see when I go second, I think sometimes I want those three. Uh, yeah, three it's drops. not that bad, but I just want to try to be as aggressive as I can. Kind of logo. Oh, it just moved, Hutch? Hope the move went well. Yeah, I guess, Protect. I mean, aren't they taking 40% of the tokens? Like, that's what, uh, some really salty dude who got timed out for other reasons was saying it in the chat uh, in God's Unchained Discord. They take 40? I mean, they, that's a pretty fair, that's a pretty healthy cut. I don't know if they need much more. Okay, this is a very interesting turn, actually. Oh, okay, let's go. So we got Carpet, we got spirit, we got the pips. My gut would be like just wanting to drop both the creatures, but I guess arsenal lets us get a favorable, so maybe spirit arsenal? What do you think? This is the problem with the spirit. What do you want to obliterate? Oh, That's it could obliterate thing. the arsenal. <laughs> we could. Well, uh... You get to choose, but what do you want to choose? Oh, you get to choose. Oh, that's fine. We'll obliterate the foreguard. All right, let's go for that. I guess because tempo. Oh yeah, I thought it was random. Oh no, this is fine. I thought it was. Ra I was picking it, thinking it was random. I was ready to throw caution to the wind. See, we got a different four drop, Billy. Mm. You're worrying about nothing. It's literally a great play. No, wait, wait, wait. play the carpet, man. Oh, oh, we don't want the good trade. Oh, okay. yeah. And four C. Gotcha. Okay, that was not the way I was headed. Uh, I'm sending it back because I don't have time to think. I was, I was gonna buff because I thought. I mean, I trust that you have the better idea. I just. This is I don't think he's going to punish the one health creature here. It's very unlikely. Okay. Uh, uh, the thing I was going to think, why I was thinking so long is, I think you're supposed to play the carpet first, then spirit to control your draws. Right, because you can foresee. I didn't... I thought we were going to, like... Yeah, that I, I was in a different place, so that makes sense now. So here we can pip out the Jail Beast... Or we can make this a 4-3 to trade in. I guess... You're pipping out the jail piece and going face. Okay. Yeah. So we're not doing Sorry. any value trading or anything. We're just I going. I mean, deadly arsenal is two for one yourself here. Right. So I guess that's fair. That. Okay. Now you at least get to trade, and then maybe you can. I think you're probably gonna pip out the four or five no matter what. Because they're just gonna kill the uh, two two here, right, for the favorable trade. Uh. Nope, they're not gonna value their cards. Okay. Oh, the Storm card is pretty good too. They use Curse of Greed in the 2 2. That's a terrible play, right? That's horrible. Okay, so pipping out Tomb Carver here, that's the idea. I mean, it's pretty perfect. Yeah, for sure. Now okay. we do. Hope we get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they only have two cards. Maybe their deck is bad. Maybe. Maybe they got the Acolyte hero power, though. It can't, can't be that bad. 
Okay, that's good. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, they, they're just not making the value plays at all. Oh, yeah. That's very good for you. Flat. So, are we still we're being... We're going to Slayer, for sure. Okay, so we're going to Slayer for sure. And then... I mean, I would be taking a value trade all day. I yeah, must... take the value trade. I'm just thinking about the Deathly Arsenal. I mean, it's nice tempo, and then it guarantees either way that they're losing their creature. Yeah, just that last channel damp and go face. Yeah. Hope we do our five drop. This is the reason why I really like five drops, by the way. You can see these spots. You're gonna drop a loop pin next turn. That's why I want another five drop to draw, so we can play another five drop the following turn into right. the mates. Because you have two turn fives basically, with the six yeah. having the double. Yeah. That's why it's like the most important. That makes sense. Yeah. That really does. Yeah, you have two you have two times where it's the five drop, and that's like still pretty early in the game. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and this looping elemental is not bad. It's just uh, pretty solid. Yeah, yeah like here. Well, so just still play. Wait, this. you can go storm stretch here. Maybe? Okay, you go face at least. We're, we're not trying. Okay. Are we? We got plenty of time to think here. I mean, I would yeah. be probably playing lupine if I was by myself. I'd be figuring that this AOE could be more useful later if they play some stuff. Not that it's super likely, but right now the effect yeah. isn't too much. I guess it stops them trading into the three two is the value though. That's that is a the really thing good I was thing. thinking about like trading here is because of canonize. But then you can just play Lupine anyways. Yeah, just play Lupine. Okay. I'm a little bit afraid of canonize here, but that's like the only punish, I think. So Nahil, it's this timer on the left side, and I got one of the th the guy in the chat with me, Vili, is not only one of the most popular people in the game, he also actually worked on the game at one point and designed some of the sets. So I'm I'm getting a real uh, master class from Vili, but yeah, this timer shows. Uh, do you know Vili? Like, what is the actual amount of a full timer? Is it sixty seconds or what is it? It's like seventy-five seconds, I think. Seventy-five. I somebody told me. It's it's just yeah, it's it's this this. If you go fast enough, you get more time. If you take forever, you get less time. Pretty standard system. Yeah, you I, just go face here. And... Definitely. So it's either storm stress or the. Maybe it's Saga Long. Yeah, I mean, 5-5 five, five is more damage faster, right? Yeah, I think so. And there's no I trade for them. Yeah. It's, like, kind of interesting with the Stormsters there. If you play, like, Stormsters, they don't attack. But then you play Auric Mates and you kill the token for free. Mm, that's true. That would have been nice. And you know they don't have a buff because they would have played it last turn. For sure. Right. It's so looking like... good. I mean, this is looking doable. They played it very awkwardly in terms of trades and stuff. They made yeah. some questionable plays for sure. So we have nine damage to face here. And yeah, I could just block them faced. with Storm Stress. Is that what we're thinking? Lethal next turn, maybe? Everything is going face for sure. Uh, and Otherwise, they can trade into this, right? Yeah, you just go Storm Stress for sure. Go. Oh. Win incoming. Guaranteed. Oh nothing can possibly go bots. wrong. Literally <clears throat> nothing in the game answers this. Nothing. <laughs> Not that many things. What actually does answer Not, this? Uh, I mean, Russia a single target. Be a little bit annoying. Kaya is a thing. No, you, you won. Yeah, you won. I win, so, right? Yeah. You can't kill both. He could just hit this. You should hit this five times and... Oh my god. Yeah, Ooh, easy. Power See outage. See how good five yeah. drops are? Yeah, you're right. Like the if uh, Stormstress, the four six Lupine, and the Zaxium were all the big things. Bifurcate might have been nasty. Yeah. Yeah, but it would have been needed to be a top deck bifurcate because you would have bifurcate the turn earlier. For sure. For because sure. You had so two that's five. a one zero. -oh. You were skeptical, oh, no. but we got a win right away. I have good feelings. We got more wins than I thought we would get. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking that's about. Sure. That's something. Uh, chat, if the camera starts getting dark, I'll turn on some lights in a minute. I don't want to... The vibe's good. Let's just keep rolling. But I'll, I'll fix the lighting in a minute. It's probably going to start getting dark. But you went all in? You showed the, the power of trading. Your opponent did not respect the value trading in early game. He had a re much better early game than us, like the, the hunt water and uh, the hidden creature. He had Curse of Greed, which but, he completely yeah. wasted on a 2-2. Yeah, and there was one or two other questionable trades as well. So that's what Cargus was also talking about. Just like two for ones value trades, like obsessing over that in the early game. 
There is a saying, if you know how to value trade, you get to mythic. Or it's not as easy as now as it used to be, but... The, like, like the, the big beast nature days, that was literally it, right? Like, Yeah, for sure. It's like a big fundamental to understand the value trading. Sometimes you don't value trade for sure, but like... Still, uh, still some truth to that. Okay, so send back either a five drop, right? Uh, the five five goes first. He's playing deception, so he could have hunting trap. Got tomb. You just throw away. He does not have deception. Look, he's got no deception. Oh, well, it's death magic. Sorry, I'm trying to. It's okay, it's very tough to see in the background. Yeah. Send back lupine. Light. Right? Yeah. Oh, he's light and did not pick. Yeah, he picked mage bolt. That's an odd one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Reading spirit. Oh, but he's getting it. It's a famous person. I see that bit. Excuse me, chat all the time. All right, you're playing Rithing Spirit and the tomb. So start with spirit and you obliterate something, some of your big drops. Uh, uh firewall maybe. Is the five drops uh, are so way. good? You agree? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure. So you can pick it. Oh geez, I, I pick firewall. Sorry, firewall. Uh, you used to be my friend. Now you're not my friend. I guess I'm sorry. How times have changed. Oh, oh this, cool. I can't believe you wanted me to run that. This is some wild shit right here. Yeah, it's really weird they did not pick Acolytes, by the way. Yeah, it, I've I seen a couple people not choose Acolytes. I think some people just, you know, they're not plugged into the the kind of... I mean, it's not that it's incorrect, but it is also still group think. Like Everyone thinks the same thing, right? Acolytes are always yeah. what you choose. It's correct, but it's also... Like, if they're not plugged into that, they might just be living in their own world. Mage Bolt's awesome, you know? That could serve them well yeah, sometimes. Yeah. In this kind, probably not. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, at least that's me trying to be charitable towards my opponent. Uh, I can hit him with the 1-1. One, one. I guess I just hit him with yeah. both of them and trade through. I have to. Yeah, Yeah. then you metamorphosing your 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, I guess that's reasonable. Maybe metamorphosis yeah, is okay. Me metamorphosis at first. Yeah, in case we get blitz. If you get... Yeah, tavern brawler, I'm thinking. Go. Well, that's oh. not bad. It's like a deadly arsenal there, not gonna lie. I mean, deadly arsenal, though. I guess they can just kill the 2 1 here. We got some tempo. I'm just cringing a bit how bad our deck is. We're like on <laughs> turn two when we don't have a hand. I'm chilling because I got you here to help me. <laughs> yeah. so this is about as good as me by myself oh, with no. a decent pool. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. I'm, I'm pretty lucky, to be fair. So That's good. I need that. I that's, do. I mean, you know, half of the game is luck. Yeah. Ooh, that's uh okay. okay. So you just play it and go face. And uh don't pip anything, right? I mean I could pip a slayer, but that's not No, don't pip anything. You're pipping out the five drop next turn. Definitely, yeah. Nevos. Could okay. you save the five drop? Maybe you trade there. I don't like the trading there though. Nah, they'll trade into us, right? I think you're right. I think face is the place. Yeah. I'm just always afraid of kind of nice. Yeah, you are. I can tell. I, I am blissfully not even thinking about canonize. It, it's correct to not play around it. It's, it's like just, just a mental thing for me. To you always... taught me. You taught me. You were in the chat. Yeah. You were like, stop playing around shit. I'm like, yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, I try not to play around it, but it's always like behind my ears. Though. Canonize What's trauma. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. They're like, canon is going to kill us at some point. Like, Let's say we trade it, and then he has this board exactly, and then he's just going to canonize the 1-1. One, one. Oh, well. Yeah, just play it. Yeah. Four, five. Cringe. <laughs> yeah, I got canonized trauma, for sure. This is great, because instead of me molding, you cringe, and I enjoy <laughs> that I'm not, like, by myself just getting roasted by chat. This is This is perfect. Yeah. I'm glad you're here for the bad pool. The good pool I can handle myself. This is actually what I need. Yeah. Uh, That's why I can drink a beer uh, and just chill, and I can still win a game. Easy. Not gonna lie, I, lie, I make I find the um, bad pools way more interesting, like to build and like hope. It's it's much more like of an adrenaline rush for me to get a lot of wins with poor pools and good pools. So it's like, I, it's I mean, I, I was thinking about that just like. Uh, he was actually in the chat and the hill was in the chat earlier. I was talking to him during the parallel stream and we were going back and forth about if I'll, I'll hold that. Well, here, hold on, I'll stay this turn for a second. Uh, you're so, going to rat. The... Okay. So you attack the one, one. 
With the four, we five. have to kill the one one. Are we really gonna ratify the four four? I think so. Yeah. Just to keep our tempo up, and we can pip into yeah, a six. Need to keep it. I, I'm I'm just willing to like lose every late game. That makes sense. We're just trying to be aggro. So we were going back and forth on. Uh, I was saying how like the only thing that really matters is you have to be extremely good at the game. Like otherwise, who cares about your content? And he was like, nah, there's lots of ways to do it. You can like make interesting content like in other ways other than just being the grinder who's like the best. And like hearing you say that kind of kind of goes with that where I'm like, yeah, you know, there is there is more than just like. I mean, I guess it's kind of sweaty to want bad pools, but like there, there's something more interesting sometimes about seeing things other than just like the optimal deck or whatever. I have, a, I have a very nice... I've always said that since I started streaming. You only have to convince your chat once that you were good at some point, and then you can just do whatever you want. You don't need to keep on being good if they knew you were good. If you followed, like, Hearthstone or whatever, like, if you know okay. Reynard or Amas... Of course, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. Never, They were never good at Hearthstone. <laughs> like, ever. They were never the top players or anything. Like, I've been playing Reynard in card games and for, like, what 12 years he's that's fucking awesome control. uh hold on just so we can get this this that's amazing that you've been playing against raynad though i fucking love raynad do you think i would consider aegis here or am i still pipping no you're just slamming spiral golem and attacking into that thing. um spiral golem you said yeah okay uh follow me i'll follow you yeah. for sure but but the best way to get early traction is like oh i was the guy who went 25 on no or 18 and 0 on a weekend or whatever then people were like oh who's this guy i want to watch him that's but actually insanely your... true i'm sorry continue i cut you off yeah no it's okay but to maintain your audience they don't want us because when i started streaming i came in as like i was the biggest crusher on ladder at the time and i started my streaming i wanted to be super analytical super serious streaming so i couldn't interact with chat you know because i was trying to do my lines and stuff and that's just so fucking boring it's also boring for me because i'm playing like super serious on like a tuesday yeah <laughs> like a frag game we didn't even have play turn back story then. of my like, life tuesday cares? morning bro <laughs> tuesday morning yeah. Ryan. <laughs> like who the fuck cares if i'm winning or not they just want to, they want to see me misplay <laughs> that's what my chat wants to see wait is this <laughs> like, this came from the uh the chest so we got the double golem now i thought it was the bug for a second from the old days but no it's the chest um no yeah. dude that's actually oh man that's so true hang on we'll, we'll play the turn but that's so true i'm, yeah, I'm feeling that so hard they have a bunch okay, of stuff. Have we have frontline. We have delving frontline. We have Arik. Um, I'd I'm probably be leaning towards the... one of these two if I was by myself. What do you think? I would go storm stress for sure. Okay, and then are we trading into one of these, getting a clear, or are we just? <laughs> what did he play last turn? Can you show me? I'm what did he play? He fun. played. Uh, good question. He played that. Um, the celebrant. How did he get the two twos? And you got a, a Pharaoh's heirloom, I think. Alright, just play Storm Stress and trade into um, a three three, right? Yeah. Or a three two. Or should I just go phase? Just, Yolo? No, I'll trade the two two. Two two. The two two? two, two. Oh, I ran out of time. You took you took a oh, while right, there. Okay. So the reason why you go two two is just Asterius and the mm. um, the trading blocks don't change from three to two. Because your storm says a six health. Right, yep. And it he still has seven takes... attack. It's like Yeah, yep. And it still takes all your... three of them. Yeah. And then he can ping your four four. Mm. And then he has to ping the storm stress and attack. So it's like little nuance, but it's alright. But dude, that's what happened in parallel is I crushed with one deck for like one week and I got second place in one tournament. And literally oh, everyone's congrats. like, You're good. You're good at the game. You're great. How awesome. You're so good. And I'm like realizing that what you're saying is incredibly true obviously i can't just rest on one one day of being good in a game but like it's actually crazy how true this thing is you just have to be good once and then like have been mm -hmm. good because that's i was like i get people are giving me so much credit in parallel and i have imposter syndrome now because i'm like i'm like oh, uh, i'm like oh, i played a broken deck for a yeah it's it's a whole it's a whole thing. It's it's tough because we're having this combo in between turns. But anyway, let's uh so they got the seraph. We hit the protected off. Am I just gonna savage it and get rid of it? Yeah, savage. I have to, right? What does your five drop do, the Atlantean guy? That's the Atlantean that destroys another Atlantean. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. Um it's at the start of the turn, but at the start of your turn it destroys a random other friendly Atlantean to get plus three plus three. 
Yeah, you probably just jam that one. You gotta try that, yeah. Um, yeah, well, because the thing is, Protect, not as much about skill as entertainment. I just feel like there's both, and for me, it's been like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Aegis? We're out of time. Yeah, play Aegis. Yeah, play it. You're, cl you're like clutch right now with the rope. Flip. Yeah, Hercules. Ah, got it. <laughs> yeah, nice. We can play it next turn. Otherwise, it would have been white for you. Right, right, right. The reason why is like the one that is still kind of a nice body. I thought it would become a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, like like my, my thing is just you, you need to gain the audience and then it doesn't matter. That's what I'm basically saying. As soon as you got the audience, like... And, and I can say this as a super an, inactive streamer. Because I used to be super active, I still like retain my audience kind of AC when I come back, and it's the same with Copper. So it's like, nah, nah. wait, oh. yeah, it's good. Yeah, I think it's okay, for a myriad of reasons for sure. I think the problem with the like just entertain idea is that like if you're a streamer, like it just isn't really helpful to think, okay, I just need to entertain. Like I just got to be entertaining right now. Like. It's useful if you think of it and you prepare, I guess, like preparing an entertaining yeah. stream. But some people, they'll like really show up in the right attitude and then they still just have no fucking viewers. And you can be like doing all of your right. mantras and all of your good mental talk about how it's okay one day at a time. But if no one fucking shows up, you're talking to yourself, you know? And so it's, it's once you get started and then you're feeling yourself, I'm, I'm the one who entertains. It's me. I'm entertaining. But I think there's a lot of luck in terms of, like, getting a chance to be entertaining. Not everyone has what it takes, but other people don't get the chance. Like, some people just don't ever get the scenario of, like, chat's going, the game's cool, they're talking. Oh, everyone's starting to realize this person has the thing. Like, some people never get that yeah. shot. Like, it takes years to get lucky sometimes to... That's like my thought on that, you know? Yeah, so so what I'm saying is, like, you don't... I, I think we're all agreeing, you don't have to be really good to get people to watch you but it's a very good starting point is well, my argument i do yeah uh, well. you just go face and play spiral column and you won't draw all right yeah, yeah. So. no I, that's fine honestly we that's yeah. there's a lot to be said but yeah i definitely yeah. i think i think skill matters a little more than you guys are like kind of implying but i do agree mostly with what you guys are saying yeah i mean if you grind like eight hours a day Five times a week, like Sam, of course you're gonna get all the viewers at some point. Not but. even though, that's what's fucked up, is I've seen a lot of people who put in hours and they don't get viewers. Like, yeah. I've been no lifing Twitch for yeah, three or four true. years. Not as much lately, I'm much more multi platform. Ever since I got the job, I've had more balance. But like, I've been about as obsessed as anybody in Web3 on like all the game categories and the streams. And there are people who've spent, I mean, I know there's a guy I can think of right now who's been streaming some random game for like a year and a half ever since he stopped streaming web three and he has one viewer no matter how many hours he fucking streams like yeah because he changes games as well he, he's no, playing a popular he's game like that's older so there's no new people coming in definitely for sure that's it's just i see people who are fucking grinding forever and making no progress so i get a little scared by the like I mean, because Sam is an anomaly. Like, you say anyone could do it, but he's the number one player. I understand there's lots of different yeah, 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 yeah. categories, but he's the number one tournament-winning player in the game. Yeah, he's so, actually great at the game. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So he's not a good example of skill not mattering. You know what I mean? I think people yeah, think of Sam, they're like, oh, he's so entertaining. It's so, But it's like, yeah, bro. Just go face. Uh, um, what does that Latia do do? Does it kill next to it? I don't want to play that on Latia, dude. Uh, oh, it's gonna at the start of the turn kill this guy, yeah. So just Arik Mage. I mean it's a four or five. And then I then we can't even slay her, but it's either that or it's like Griffin Arson no, fuck dude, I don't know. Probably Arik, right? Arsenal. Just Yeah, play the mate, I guess. The thing is protect okay. like streaming if there weren't a lot of streamers, then it would just be about entertaining. The thing is there is yeah. way too many streamers. So like, Are there way too many streamers? Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, 100%. Uh, I mean, like, in Gods, there's not enough. Right? Well, well, in Gods, kind of. But if you start streaming today, you're going to average under 10 viewers for six months minimum. You know what I mean? Like, even if it'd be good yeah, for the game. It helps being a crusher before, then you get all the viewers. I think that's it's it Gods Unchained has reached a point of saturation. There's not a lot of new viewers. 
and the streamers are already well established. Like the only way that I got in, bro, is I streamed. I was waking up at 3 a.m. to go when no one else was live. Like, yeah. H Pain stopped streaming. I think maybe around the time I started, I, I wasn't really paying attention, but I think it was around when he stopped anyway. And it might have been his slot or something. But I just I was literally waking up in the middle of the night to go live because that H was the only. Doesn't have a slot. Fair enough. <laughs> but like I literally was waking up at 3 a.m. to go live when no one else was live, and I think that's like I don't know. If you want to make it in gods, that's what you'd have to do. If you go live when I'm live and Sam's live and like etc., you're probably gonna have a hard time. Um, Twitch is just so brutal. It's just so brutal. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people's I, ideas are like, what would be nice? Wait, 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 don't, don't mess. I think you have to deadly your spiral golem, just so he doesn't get a free ping on it. Gotcha. Uh, so how I got into streaming is. Networking, 100%. That's the only thing I did for the first months. So I I did have really good ladder results. I spent a lot of time in every Twitch channel chatting and like gifting subs, but I still gift subs. Like it's just the thing I do. And like chatting and stuff. And then I joined Clutch in voice calls and like was playtesting with Clutch a lot. And he just told me, dude, you have to stream. Because like people know who you are. And then like when I started streaming, we had way more viewers then because it's back in the bull market. And I would stream before this person TPH. Do you know him? Oh yeah, yeah. Hansen, right? Yeah. yeah, so it's just start my stream like half an hour before he left and he had like one hundred viewers or whatever. So so I just timed it then and I got his rate because he knew me because I was so active in his So chats. Golem and, or Zaxium? Uh Zaxium and he report. Is the higher stats, yeah, but yeah, that's how I did it. And there was also no, no, GP, GP. Uh, no, yeah, I played it, play it, but yeah, there was also a streamer called Lion Lion Unchained, and I got his rates as well. So, yeah, that's so that's how I did it, at least. So, you were one of the best players in the game, you were collaborating with the other best players in the game, and they were rating you. So, it's yeah, like basically. that's what it takes, though. Like, think about that. That's literally anyone who has less than that is competing with that because every game that's big enough to have viewers has that going on. Like there's guys yeah. at the top, guys and girls, whatever, who have they work with each other and they help each other out. And the thing is, it's not even nefarious. Usually it's like they were there when the game started and now it's been a couple of years and there they are. The game has some viewers. They're happy and they're doing their thing. Like it's not like anyone's doing anything mean. Right. But when you're a newbie okay, and you don't... come in. You know what I mean? You don't I... have to be like a super good player though when I think about it. Just say like we have our infinite mana discord. If you rejoin our voice calls and just chat and be nice and whatever, I'm more likely to rate you now that I know you than a random person streaming. Do you know what I mean? If you want. Yeah, it's like, true. Rate. The tough thing with Twitch is the like, so even for me now, and I like Sam has heard me say this and you guys know I am completely supportive of everything he does. When he goes live, I lose viewers every time, right? And it's gotten less extreme over time. At, when I was still newer, I would go from like 50 or 60 down to fucking 20, like pretty fucking fast. You know what I mean? Over time, I've gotten to where I have a little more of my own thing going. Like, I, I have that happen to me when I'm the second most popular streamer live, right? Now think about when there's five or six guys live, you know? The fucked up part... When a new update comes, smaller streamers lose all their viewers. People actually go even more top heavy whenever new content happens. Like for some reason, I realize this because in Gods, I'm it's the first time I've been big enough to not suffer from it. Like in every other game, whenever a content update came out, I would go back down to like okay. ten viewers. Um, Bast claws, so right? Bast claws, yeah. And I think we're going face with everything. Yeah. So first with the claws, right? First. With um. The okay. How does it work? It buffs the hand, I think. Uh, post the hand and then with this. Get that right. Just gotta... require, it can attack again. Kill the one one. I guess maybe? you just yeah. I guess so. Yeah. In case of. I mean, we're good. We're looking good here. Uh, yeah. Best claw. But yeah. So if if you're streaming and that's your main thing and you're starting now, you could do everything right and still end up being like number five, number six. Um, yeah. you won't have an active chat, Joe. Like you won't. I mean, I can only speak from my experience. I'm talking about like. There were times when I had been grinding for 150 plus hours a month of streaming. 
I literally started doing giveaways because one day I went live and I averaged yeah, four viewers. Yeah, great, to be fair. <laughs> I, I averaged four viewers. I'd been streaming gods for a few months, averaging like 15 to 20. And one day, I think it was H pain again, for whatever reason. He was live before I went live and I averaged four viewers in six hours after I'd been averaging 20. And that was the day I decided to start giving away all my money because I was fucking mad. Not at H pain, but just at the world. Wasn't Jerry also streaming then? It wasn't at the same time he was live, but it, it was definitely when he was doing his thing. That's why I started doing it's part of what inspired me to say fuck it and just go to the dark side. But like, I'm just saying if that can happen right. to me with how hard I go and I don't think I'm special. But like if we're talking about entertainment and blah, 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 that's kind of my whole thing. I'm the guy who is the fucking loud and you know, annoying. I'm the most rambunctious of the active gods streamers right now. I feel like, you know, like just rambunctious as hell. Uh, so like, Brian, though. I, I could not like stream with four four viewers for six hours or whatever. Well, yeah. the point is that happened to me after months of going as hard as I could. I just went live one day, and fucking no viewers. You know what I mean? And the fact that yeah. that can happen to me with how hard I go now, imagine people who are going to try to do two or three times a week, you know, for two hours. You know, what I mean, it just Twitch is really brutal. Like you can get raids and get good streams, but like. I don't know. My standard is like, can you get to 50 viewers consistently? Can you get to 100? Which I'm not even there, but it's like that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, is it's like trying to get signed to a record label or like be in a movie. It's like, it's real shit, you know, in my opinion. I, I know, I, I don't know. Anyway, let me turn on the light real quick and then we'll, we'll keep going. Are you good? Let me know if yeah. you have to go, but I'm loving the hang. I, I have time for one more game after this one. Perfect. 1,000 is my career goal, Joe. I mean, like, I've thought about it that way. Hold on, BRB. I think you can maintain with like a couple hundred viewers. Three, four hundred? You're probably making good money then. I think so. Like, because at like three, four hundred viewers, you're going to get start to, start to get sponsors. And sponsors can pay, pay pretty well. Also, go Eagles in the hill. Yeah, we ended up winning. It was such a close game. I was losing my shit during the parallel stream at the at the early part of the game. It got even crazier. Um, yeah, a thousand so, is my just started. Uh, the season. Yeah, Eagles is up four zero. Oh, the parallel season. Sorry, I think NFL. No, no, uh, I meant American football. I don't. Oh yeah, it's four I weeks in. It, no, no, it's okay. It's my first time watching, so I'm also pretty dumb about it. My oh, local okay. team. Trey, I'll have you jump in as... Well, I mean, yeah, no, you can jump in now as long as it's easy. And then Villy's hopping out soon anyway. I just don't know if I can add you. Can I add you? Can I add him? Yeah, I don't... I, I'm European, so I only watch soccer. Gotcha. Trey, I think <laughs> only because it's Villy's last game and we don't have much time, just wait till he hops out. Otherwise, we have to start a new call, which I would do if Villy was still kicking it for a while, but he's about to hop out, so I'll get you in in a minute. Otherwise, I'd love to have all three of us in here together. Um, but I'll start getting distracted and I'll lose the game. Ooh, we get to go first. But see how overrated going first is. Like, we went second less. I think games. people are always overthinking that in every game. Like, there's a 5%, 10% yeah. advantage in every game is, oh, I went first, oh, I went second. You know what I mean? It's one of those. I know. Not always. Look Sometimes at lose now and then, like, going second is just 100%. Yeah. That's a great keep. Um, keep all this, you think? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Strong, like, metam metamorphosis is always going. I was like, hey, um, whatever. Throw away. Do you throw away Savage Strike here? You think? Go for creatures? Yeah, I think so. Yu Gi Oh is different. Yeah, I think some games there's like, a big first advantage. <laughs> but other -Oh games. Has three turns. <laughs> the game is literally three turns. Yeah, that's what Nahil turns. was telling me about. He was, he was like, <laughs> I guess he's into Yu Gi Oh. He was telling me all about that. It, it, but each turn is like 15 minutes. I'm passing, right? I'm passing, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, passing. <laughs> because uh, one shitter is fucking comboing off and hope the other guy didn't get his counters. <laughs> I couldn't handle Yu-Gi-Oh. I can barely handle combos in this game. I can't play bitter endings. I played Yu-Gi-Oh for way too long. Oh my god. And now you're playing One Piece like a nerd. Yeah, I play every fucking card game. I always do. I don't know how you do it. Oh. Alright, so let's Dude, play yeah, this. I've been doing this since I was like... 10 or whatever my my parents hated video games when i was younger because i'm like from the generation where they thought if i played gta they thought i would become a shooter so like oh yeah was but you were allowed advanced. to play tcgs was that the deal 
Yeah, that was a deal. Basically, I could buy Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon packs instead. Instead, of... I had some games, but it was always like PC3 shit that nobody wanted to play when you were like 13. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When your friends were playing COD or whatever. I was lame, bro. I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog and like Mario the whole time. Yeah. All my friends were playing COD though, and I was just like sitting by myself playing Mario. So you made the right call. Bro, this hand okay, is... This is uh, in... No, this is actually going to be great. This is a good hand. Really? I'm just thinking... Okay, you're always layering. I'm just thinking if you deadly arsenal here... Oh, he's on another level. Theory, he... Yeah, he can't ping it, and you use your mana pretty well. Yeah, you play deadly arsenal here. Oh, boy. All right. All right. It's in America. Really. Yeah, I know, but my parents, you know, being... You know, early, early 2000s, like, shooters are going to you know fry, fry your brain kind of stuff yeah have you played flesh so, and blood so funny I flesh and blood no i i, I stopped playing paper games i kind of found it a bit cringe i'm kind of with you like, paper like, paper's kind of cringe now yeah i'm like i'm, get, I, I'm getting at that eight bracket i just don't want to be facing a 13 year old like let life. alone losing to a 13 year old <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> just lose to him on the screen so we got three uh, options we got aegis stormstress or lupine if i was by myself i would be yeah. thinking lupine biggest stats yeah easy easy Myst mystic mind pass oh my god that's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference by the way there's a one card because you played first card you play and you win the game really <laughs> it's just like a toy yeah, it's like Yatsu. <laughs> it's just weird. Mystic Mind. What, what could it possibly do that it's that strong? It just like. It, it doesn't like win the game, but it just says your opponent can't play it. I think. Correct. It can't play creatures? Can't play creatures? Yeah, I think so. And they never rotate. Yeah, yeah they can't control more creatures than you, I think, or something like that. Oh, uh, then if you don't play creatures, they're just stuck. Yeah. Okay. Now you can. Okay. What What do you do here? I see, would see how good five drops are. By the way, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's it's it. really clear to me. I need to start valuing five drops higher because this is like, I mean, I'd probably be, I don't know, stormstress to get some front line up and then kill the three two. Almost. You kill the three four. Kill the three five. Oh, because the burn. Yeah. No. 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 Bigger stormstress. Oh, because of the ping! Yeah. That's very complicated. Uh, no, there's no overload in this game. That's a Hearthstone mechanic, which, like, you get, like, more powerful cards, but it, like, locks your mana. It's like game. Empower, isn't it? No. Oh, it locks. Like... It adds mana locks, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, like, if something has overload two, then you have two less mana next turn. That's crazy. Oh, but for one turn only? Yeah, one okay. turn only. Gotcha. Okay, that's another horrible play from the opponent. But probably okay. Maybe his hand is just bad, so it might be fine. So, okay, yeah, easy commander here. Yeah, because it's all we got. Uh, Ooh, Cadmos. Maybe Cadmos. Yeah, easy. Oh, Hell yeah. Commander can be so nice. Oh my god. This is, yeah. Oh, do you Again, just emphasize on five drops. You see how they take over the game. You just feel like you always have tempo with them. Yeah, you got to have a lot of them. Like, you need to always have a strong five drops every single game. So that's why we're going to be running five or six in, like, every deck whenever it's possible. Because that's how yeah. insane they are. I never realized so, it until you pointed it out in this run, but it's it seems clearly true. Um, wow, we have a lot of options here. I mean... Cadmos is always tempting because if their hand seems kind of bad, why not use Cadmos? And then I could also dead the arsenal. We just start hitting face really hard. I mean, that's just like a tempo face play. Uh, what What do you think? Uh, yeah. What would you Cadmos though? The one, t one two because the ward doesn't block. And yeah. We're still fine with the two two, right? Yeah, I like that play because Spiral Balloon is so awkward. There's just that shot crier. Yeah, she's gonna hit that. All right, let's do it. Cadmo's legitimately insane. Almost clicked yeah, on the wrong thing. Yeah, I was thinking about that Leap up, but it's so bad for the mana, right? It's so bad for the mana. Trade in Metamorphosis? Oof. I, I, I like that play, but like... Just curve-wise, yeah, mana-wise. 
the the floating yeah, mana. I guess thing. you could then Slayer maybe. Yeah, I wanted to use the mana a little bit better. Because now if he attacks in you can meta maybe. Yeah, we we'll get value. Unless they have something good in their hand, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Was not expecting us to win. Three in a row and potentially. Being... And being in such a good position with this deck. Yeah, it's But that says a lot about sealed as well. Like, it's not as bad to open bad pools if you can find, like, ways to squeeze out the wins, like the Slayer line. I wonder how many people would have just picked ping because of have magic. I would have probably picked it. And tried to do that instead. If you weren't there, yeah. yeah. But now I can see. I mean, obviously, like... It seems like the worse the pool is, the more likely you want to use Slayer. Are we yeah, going to drop the Spire Golem? For sure. And like try to, when you have a bad pool, I always try to find like these obscure ways to win the game, like metamorphosis or like whatever cards that can be like. Yeah, this is like, pretty good. Additional value and tempo. We could metamorphosis the Cadmos next turn if it works out. Five drops. Yeah, or Spiral Golem maybe. Oh, true. True. Because I play the Shadow Scryer here. So that's why I'm thinking about meta, the Spiral Golem. Yeah, I think it turns from the gold one. Okay, that makes sense. Get a six, seven drop. Ooh, wait. Alka. transform that. But we could. Oh, you transform that instead. Yeah, kill the sure. one, two, and then transform the Falca? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Ooh. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Ooh, maybe. Oh, it's... oh, my God. All these options. Maybe you. I mean, the golem, golem right? Thinking about the seven drops, give me a sec. We have some time. Yeah. I'm gonna go seven drops. I like picking Golem personally. Uh, yeah, pick the Golem, I guess. Although There's five drops are good, so. I guess. We did say five drops all day, but seven drops are even stronger than five drops, right? Yeah. Probably even attack phase as well. That's and I'm Ward. Probably... Oh, yeah, we can't. We can't because we already hit, yeah. Uh, Ward is also yeah. nice on this. You'd wait to get more value. Yeah, that's actually a fair point as well. But uh, I like this. Now, you, now you're threatening to attack for ten next turn. Pretty good. That's two turn kill potentially. Yeah. With a ratify to shut them down if they play one thing. That's. You know. And they haven't had much removal lately, in this spot. Like the spiral column sat there for some time, so their hand seems a bit clunky. Unless they're like sevens are good. Then we have a ratify. Yeah, their hand seems like this it's is like bad. one of these. This is one of these spots I would go over again, like probably on my own. If it was my game. Okay. Do you it like record all your game. matches? No, I no no no. It's in no, your head. If I'm streaming. Oh, okay. No, not anymore. I don't. I'm not that sweaty. Good I'm idea. Though. Retired. Uh, I don't blame uh, you. But I couldn't just kill uh, this with the. I would start with Runosite. Just to see your options. Because you're not playing Auric Mage here. Right. Ooh. Oh, so you're send back. The claws. Yeah, send that back. That's nice. So, yeah, go face with the Font Runner at, at least. We gotta kill this, right? Yeah, you do. And you can squeeze in the hero power. Oh, yeah. It's fine. But yeah, probably wait with the transform. Ah, uh, doesn't really matter. At 14, We're gonna get him from here. Lot. Win incoming. So, yeah. Unless they have Amberoni or a demo. Oh, we have Rectify for that. Amberoni. I have actually yet to see Amberoni in Sealed. I know it's oh, in the it's pool. So it's so good. Not seen it from my opponent or myself. All right. right lethal. The no, yeah. yeah, I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah. Jamming all day. Win incoming. Yeah, claws and slay. I mean, Bast's claws is sick. If you have Bast's claws and the pool's not good, then definitely, like. I mean, think about it. We have enough early game to get by. Insane five drops, Bast claws in the six, and then we're just riding Slayer to victory. It's, it's working out okay. Our opponents are also, like, laying down and dying before we even do anything. So that's also. Uh, Definitely a thing. Okay. Opponents are pretty much just laying down and then, like, 
asking me to end their misery. Uh, just play their mates. Mage? Okay, kill it. Yeah, just kill it. I don't know, there's probably nothing that gives it. Very this. important yeah. spot there. Yeah, no, I, I, why not? I just wanted to flex my buff spear soul, but that's... It's like Tormentor Fiend into Shush. Winter's Bounty into Avatar Winter's of War. Bounty. Yeah, Winter's Bounty. All right, easy game. 3-0, excellent pool. Piloted to greatness by the legendary Billy. Dude, thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah, no worries. This is fun. Definitely fun. Right. No, we'll, we'll do this again for sure sometime. Yes, take care and ping me if you get five wins. So I'll transfer you the gods. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll let you know. I'll All let right. you know when yeah, I do I'll it. Let you know. Yeah, See take you. care. Bye. Call Trey. Uh, let's see. Trey, can you just message me or whatever? We're already friends, I think, right? Let me look at my friends list. You know, Kingaman TV still hasn't accepted my friend request. Shameful. I'm hanging there for months. Now we really see? No, no, no. Trey is going to take over for Vili. I can continue to drink beer and, and talk shit. There we go. I can continue just to drink beer and talk shit. We're good. This is the new era. Yo. Hello. Hello. How's it going, sir? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm having a fantastic day and a fantastic evening stream. It is dark outside. And it's not because the sun is coming up. It's actually nighttime and I'm playing video games. It's amazing. Legendary. Extreme. All right. Let's go. How are, uh, how, uh, how are you enjoying the sealed runs? I haven't actually gotten to talk to you about sealed before we jump in. Good day. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think I'm down God still, but uh, it's a fun experience, right? I mean, I'm down bad, so you don't have to worry about that with me. I mean, that's like, yeah, but it's super fun. That's the thing. It's like, I mean, in Constructed, like, I need to be winning hard for it to be worth it. And then I'm like, all right, I feel good. But Sealed just feels like it's fun. It's just like, I mean, if I'm going 0-3 back to back, it's like, okay, this is, I'm mauled. I'm very mauled. But overall, I'm not worried about the three bucks, like, it's more like the five wins is like a mark of honor, but it's like, I mean, it just seems like it's not that bad. I mean, unless you're really just like falling, like if you're just losing every run, I guess you can burn through a lot of gods, but I don't know if you're, if you're breaking even, even like half the time, I mean, you get a pretty solid amount of gameplay time for what feels like not that many tokens. I don't know. Maybe I just have God's token privilege and I'm not aware of how, just how I'm just bathing in the gods, but to me, it feels like. I don't know. It's not that crazy, you know? Yeah, I've seen some people be pretty 50-50 on it, to be honest. In what way? Like, 50-50 on it? Like, having the opposite opinion of what I just said, or something else? I'd say, like, there's people who are 100% for it. They love it. It's the best thing to ever happen to gods. And then on the opposite spectrum is, like, they hate it. It's a scam. It's the worst thing in the world. I feel like I've heard it all. Really? People being that negative? I don't know if I've heard... Maybe I'm just giving off too much of my, like, opinion so people are not bothering, but I haven't heard much of that, like, like heavily negative. I've, I've heard people say they think the rewards aren't good enough or the entry fee is too high. I don't know if I've heard as much of, like, super negative uh, feedback, but that's interesting. I wasn't, like, wasn't in the loop on that. I mean, some people are... What do you think that is? Do you think it's like a genuine criticism or do you think people are just expecting play to earn, for, to, you know, to fall from the sky? Or like, where do you think it comes from? I mean... Hmm, that's a great question. I wouldn't like to... Honestly, I wouldn't like to say. I mean, I'm, right. I'm pretty sure this person... like, I, I, I would just say this person has quit the game because of Sealed. You know what I'm saying? Really? I've never heard of that yet. I did not I didn't know anyone. Wow. So they really don't like it. They're not with it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. But I don't know. I mean, you know, it's like to get into the mind of that, I have no idea cuz I'm enjoying it. It's fine. It's sometimes burnout is like 
it's just not always what it is, but sometimes people are just burnt out and that's just it. Like nothing to do with anything except they have reached a stage of like they need to stop. Like people hit that point at different times. Yeah. Do you want to show your screen, by the way? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I wasn't sharing. Yeah, let me do it right now. Uh, I think this is the right screen. Sir? Messy. All righty. So, Vili was really pessimistic about this deck. But... Oh, I don't even know what the fuck is in the deck. Dang, we should have checked that. That's true. I could have shown you, but that's okay, because this way um, your true skills will, will show up when you navigate not even knowing my opponent's deck or my deck. It's the next level. Exactly. Let's go. I mean, you thought closed deck lists were skillful. How about really closed deck lists? You don't know your own deck. That would be an interesting game mode, wouldn't it be? I don't know how that would work, but yeah, that would be very uh, peculiar. Uh, basically, this deck is super awkward. We have really low amounts of removal. We don't have that many great creatures. We don't have a super solid win condition. Uh, but we do have Bast's Claws. And Slayer. Those are things we do have. Oh, nice. We have a one drop. I saw. And we can actually ramp the... Oh, wow. We can ramp that down to zero or the Savage Strike. Um, I mean, that's actually an interesting decision. It's one of those ones I would just kind of pick arbitrarily. I don't know. A Deadly Arsenal? What do you think is the one to ramp? I think Savage Strike is probably the one to ramp. Okay. What's the reasoning? Just out of curiosity. Uh, something that costs three mana, two mana is probably oh, true. better in my opinion. Because the empower, it's duh. Yeah, okay, that's actually pretty clear. Um, and then, I mean, I'm not the verdict's not out on that though. That makes sense. No, that just makes sense though. That makes a ton of sense. Um, mm. and then would we ever consider? I guess I'd probably just be passing. I mean, do we ever consider pipping out an arsenal? Nah, no need. Just gives them a chance so. to to one for two us potentially if it goes bad. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Okay. Get value trades. That's what Cargus taught me. Obsess over value trades. And then Vili taught me to obsess over the five drops because they're really good. What does that Patad do? It is afterlife deal two damage to a random enemy creature. Huh. Almost a time bomb. Do we need to savage strike this? Hmm, so we could Savage Strike the 2-2 two, two to clear out the 1-1, one, one, and then that's, they still have the Echo of the Benefactor, that's like a 1.5 for 1, it leaves me a 2-1. Otherwise, we'd have to tip out a 3-2, which feels terrible, so I mean, yeah, I'm down, let's empower it, of course. Yeah, I think, for sure, Savage Strike that, and you gotta pip that Deadly Arsenal too, eh? Hit face. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Now we're getting above one health, getting extra damage. This is tough. Yeah, we'll see. Based. Yeah, I mean, sorry. Yeah. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. What's up? No, I mean, like, I have no idea what the fuck this deck has. You have war, <laughs> death, um, magic? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's the worst pool ever, pretty much. It's the worst combination of gods, pretty much. It's It's pretty rough. Aren't you guys 3-0, though? Yep. Oh, dang. You guys have been killing it, you know? Our opponents have not been playing the most competitive strategies, I would say, but we are managing. Okay, so mm -hmm. here is kind of weird. So Staff of Shards is like, we'll play that whenever we have just extra energy. This is not very good. This is all I can really yeah, I do. And then hit so face. You drop that 3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hit that face. It's kind of sad, though. He's got a lot of cards in hand, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's the thing. That's the whole thing. Bro, it's a hot night. It's been cool lately, but it's hot right now. Turn on the air conditioning in a minute. Yeah, they got to do something. Like, my opponents are just laying down and dying. This guy has to, like, put up a fight. There's no way. No way. Yeah, I don't know what he could be possibly thinking about. Like, play a big creature. He has no pips, so... 
No five drops. Dang. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Harp is so good and sealed. Oof. That's what he was thinking about. Wow. All right. Okay, well, this I guess. <laughs> yeah. Big decisions here. <laughs> oh, man. If we get the best call now, it's so bad as well. With, like, nothing... Yeah, we won't be able to do anything. Our relic would get wasted. Our hand wouldn't have... I mean, we have four mana. Anyway, we need a five drop so bad. Like a creature. We need... That'd be nice. We need it so bad. We need just to draw off, like, three five drops in a row. Oh, no, that's good. Might have to ratify that. Probably, yeah. Because we're just not going to win the late game. Like, we need to stop threats as we go. Oh, we're going to lose this game. <laughs> oh, this is not looking good. I shouldn't say that yet, but oh, wow. You know, it's definitely rough. I don't think we have, uh, I doubt we have much for removal. We have no AoE removal at all, except for Savage Strike, technically, which we used. That was the only one? I think so. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong. What's up, Hippo? I don't know if I said that, but what's up, bro? Welcome in. Oh, I don't think we have any other AoE. It was a really bad card pool. Yes, you believe? Believe that I'm right, yeah. Cunning Challenger. This, hey, if we come back, then, uh, then I'm buying Trey a Lambo. <laughs> I'll take those odds. Good odds when the Lambo is involved. <laughs> and they're going to sit here on one mana and just think. They're a very thoughtful player. Okay, the Echoed Benediction. Good play. Great play. Arc Mage actually is good here. Yeah, that's a nice draw. But, yeah. Something. Well, then I also have the... Yeah, so we have the one damage ping from here. So I guess we'll just drop the Mage and ping one of the one twos, yeah? For sure, for sure. And then we'll be sad, but with a little more hope than we had before. I mean, that's a 4-4 four, four now. I mean, that's the best draw on the deck for sure. That's, that's, that is kind of AoE. That was my thinking about that. That is beautiful. That was good. We got 30 health. Okay. Okay. Maybe we got something going on here. Hidden, Twin Strike, Overkill. I mean, you're going to want to attack. He went for the Hidden, though, right? Like, he rolled the dice for it. Maybe he doesn't. That'd be so weird if he's not going to attack. So... That would be on par with my what my opponents have been doing today. That's about the level of play I've been seeing, but... Okay, mugging. mugging. Such a good card. Oh, shit, guys. I only got four likes on my go live tweet. Can some of y'all jump on the Twitter link in the chat and, and, like, help me get up to a less humiliating number, please? If it's possible. You. Thank you. I mean, Twitter doesn't matter. It's just the sheer humiliation of it all, you know? There you go. They trade into the mage. One turn away from Hercules. Draw, I don't know. Oh my god, bestowing saint. Okay. And we drew the withering spirit. Well, that's a GG. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's the worst draw on the deck. The makeup for the you best draw. 
I'd have to get rid of Metamorphosis. Yeah, just do it. I think. I mean, at this point, we're fucked. <laughs> Either way, we're fucked, so we're not. Oh, couldn't I just draw on that initially? Okay, what we can do is try to confuse the Hound by, like, or give it more things to heal, is what I mean. Because mm. it chooses randomly. So it's less likely to heal this, which in theory would matter if I had any chance to win. Nice ward. Thanks for the Twitter likes. What is it? What, how, what is this? Does this Hercules have protected even? Hercules, yeah. Frontline protected. So that is really good. 6 7 frontline protected. Uh, that can that can do something. Mm. It just presses the button. Boom. <laughs> yeah, GG. Play it for funsies. As soon as Vili leaves, we start getting actual normal matches. This is what he was afraid of the whole time. It's such a miracle we went 3-0. Uh, I feel like we got this. We'll check the dick next game. You know, we can we can keep getting, keep on the keep on the keep on the W streak. I mean, we can. It won't be a streak, but it might it might start one. He's got to get to five. Then Vili promised he'd give away uh, fifteen gods to chat, and I said I'd match it. Got to get to five. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, there's a fucking bid on it. Oh okay. It's for uh, for chat. Yeah. Otherwise, you guys get nothing. Oi, oi, oi. Fire the just is nasty. Well, a G. G. Let's see what our card is before we emote. Yeah. G. <laughs> G. All righty. Yeah, Stormish Fist will buff it more. That's what makes it so sick, dude. Uh, makes it so sick here. I'm going to show you the deck. Uh, I'll show you the top first. Whoa, there's a lot of one drops in there. Yep, that's what Vilya wanted. And we're playing Worst Pull Vili Has Seen. Oh, cool. Nice nick, nice dick name. It's literally what he said. It's, it's the worst one he can. he's seen, yeah. Best of it. Yeah, you can oh you can soak goodness. this in for a minute. I'm gonna get a quick uh, stretch. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, BRB two uh, minutes chat. You all gonna hang out with Trey? Aloha. Interesting. Dang, I wish I could like scroll through his cards. You know what I'm saying? That'd be nice. You guys just like sit in the silence. I joke, a kid. Two seven drops. Hector. We do have blitz? Question mark. Leech, yes. No blitz. Falcus. Is that blitz? I wonder. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. So, 
yeah, anything you want to see? I mean, you we could make adjustments. The pool is not offering us much, but any thoughts before we jump back in? Is this the whole pool? Did you just scroll through the whole thing? That's the whole pool. What the fuck? Yeah, I can no, organize it. Right. Just... Oh, hold up. That two drop ain't is not a joke. I don't think so. Scroll down. Wait, wait, where's the two drop gone? Uh, which one? These are all the two drops. Oh, uh, what? Where'd it go? I swear you had it in the pool. Can you, you scroll you down a little bit more? I mean, is yeah, these, three? these are all threes, yeah. Oh, uh, that Wizened Warlock is not a joke sometimes. Oh, the two, two. I mentioned it and Vili, like, was, uh, was, he was not amused. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not making the cut. What do we got? We got we got good cards in here. I mean, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think Valka's has blitz. Yes. Uh, Valka's which one? The four guard. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Four three blitz tempt fate. Yeah. Got one of those Wait, and tomb we... carver. We're not playing lethal prowler. Uh oh, I guess that's not in there, but it should be with this deck we're playing, huh? Well, the I would think so. The problem was, I think we have so many good five drops, unless. So we have seven five drops. Look at look at these five drops. What is would we take out? Nivos? Nivos isn't very good to be fair. The like only... if we, if, Go ahead. If we have board, Lethal Prowler is good. And this deck is all about having board, question mark. True. Yeah, I guess oh. the only downside is if like if we have an empty board or if they have one creature, it's like a small one and we have a five drop, like in that kind of spot, Prowler just doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, it's literally a five mana do nothing. And Nevos <laughs> would actually like be a four or five. That's that's like the counter, oops, sorry, uh, the counter argument. But on the other hand, Prowler just kind of gets us to lethal faster. Uh, I don't know. I think I kind of prefer a four or five that attacks whatever it needs to over a five, five that has to follow something else you know the more i think about it probably right you want to scroll down yeah that's what we got yeah not much of a top in there you're right you get you get you get you get just jump back into a game right yeah what is that what is it yeah yeah, 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 yeah. it's pretty it's pretty tough pickings in here all right let's uh we need two more wins so I can get these gods tokens for chat. Two more wins. Dang, what are we? What are our gods? War. War, mage, and death. War, it's mage, the worst combo, I think. Like. The worst possible combo, probably. Hmm. Get rid of that metamorphosis, eh? Yeah. So here's where, going first, we can just do assistant plus writhing and then we can obliterate the tomb carver which like it's a great card but it's all about the good turn one and then we can draw more stuff I and mean, that's that's because keep in mind we, we cycle we draw something else in its place uh that's what i would probably yeah. do the tomb cover is pretty good it's I so guess good play. it's so writhing good first if you want to do this writhing first yeah yeah and yeah, we, might, we might draw a spell, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Tomb Carver. You're obliterated. Oh, we did draw a spell. How lovely. Okay, well, we can work with this. It's a good turn one. They're scared. You got him on the back I would, foot. I would be confused if I was him. Lots of question marks in his name. He seems confused. Oof. Oh. I mean... I guess we're jamming it, like, just keep going, question mark? Yeah, I think we hold on to Metamorphosis for now. No, no reason to use it here. 
got to play the 3-1. I mean, hey, three creatures, they can trade into one of them. Our tempo is fantastic. 3-1. I guess they can make a badger to trade into this, but that's that's eh, that's tough. That's oh fine. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's probably fine, though. It's pretty slow. Basically a 3-3. Three, three. Trade so well into both the 2-2s two still. That is true. Yeah. Maybe. This guy's just picking his legendaries. He's just... Picking him like he has what he wants. Like he's at the library checking out a book. I'll take Ender's Game, please. Thanks. No fucking shot. He just I was that. actually in my head like maybe they'll fucking hit face because that's just the energy tonight. And holy shit, they actually did. What an right. absolute fucking legend. Can we just take a minute to appreciate this? My rank 9 opponent opponent saw this board and they thought to themselves, you know, hitting face seems good. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I'm too hard on myself sometimes. All right, so play this and then guess I'm just going face. Like there's no need to kill this, is there? Yeah, no, we're for sure going face. And then we can still hold on to... I mean, we have tempo for this, but it's just not good on a 2-2 two, two, one drop. We'll just hold on. It really it. isn't. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, imagine you get Pyramid Warden. Woo! <laughs> I mean, there's good things. Like, that would be, be great because it's a 2 six, but it could also become, like, worse stats so easily. Yeah, they're down to 22. Oh, okay. no. Well, metamorphosis is about to happen. They're still going face. It's truly incomprehensible. Okay, so carpet. Firewall is brutal. I guess I'll hit him with the 2-3 and then see what I get when I metamorphosis it. Uh, or... yeah, wait, I'd flying carpet and 4-C first. Yeah, that's true. I'll... I'll foresee that. Oh my god. I mean, it could help us clear out the firewall. That it could. Are we waiting for that? Otherwise, we could just draw a creature that takes longer. I mean, it's a one drop. I mean, Aegis Commander is going to delve. I think we take it. I think we leave it. Yeah, we can take it. We can take it. In that just... case... Where we think. Like, don't, e don't even hit. Oh, okay, yeah, hit the 2 3 into the 1 7 for sure, and then just metamorphosis that bad man. I mean, fuck this I'll guy's spell, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. All right. He just looks oh, so cool. I forgot. I forgot what he did. What is that icon? It's a promo card? Yeah, I mean, it's expensive as fuck. Take the clip. Flux is balling. Totally got it. Dude, this is the most painful thing I've ever seen. That's... Firewall against our dick. And the lethargy mage is a follow-up? That's yeah, actual, actual torture. Pain. I guess we should have just traded everything into the wall and freaking slammed our heads into the wall while we're at it. How could we have known that they were going to lethargy mage? Okay, can you fuck off with the health buffs? Now we actually still can't kill it. Fun fact. Yeah. Just play Aegis Commander? 100%. Yeah. 100%. This is, this is savage. Boom. Oh, oh my god. My Return god. of the Wrath Zealot. You think so? How much mana do I have? I have five? Should we just take Apparatus? Probably. That's the, that's the healthier play. Because we're not going to get to Zealot the way this is going. Oh <laughs> my shit. This is so bad. I'm just gonna pass. There's no, there's no point in trading in right now. Yeah, do not trade. Yeah, no. Gonna, I, oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so sick and not in a good way. Oh my god. What the fuck, man? The this hollow. Is this is cursed. So they get infinite creatures in their hand and we can't get through their firewall. Super sick. But hey, we still have 26 health. Opium. <laughs> There's literally no point in anything. Just apparatus GP. I just drop everything, man. Drop everything. Drop it all. The three and the two. Yeah, yeah fuck right, right, it. right, right, right. What is this deck even gonna do for real? We gotta get some bass claws in this. We gotta get some. We lose. No trading. Yeah. I'm gonna trade one in here. One? Okay. Because then I can make this a five and finish it. I mean, Ooh, yeah. it doesn't really matter if I do it now or next turn, but I don't know. It could also heal the damage back, I guess, is the risk. Corrupting influence. Two one mana creatures from a different domain and then tempt fate for both of them like, and apply it to both. That's such a weird card. <laughs> this game is wonderful. Sealed mode is so cool. Can you at least win faster with this? He's like, they don't even. They're like slowly making the wrong plays and clowning me. Are we living? Maybe we can come back. Kill the firewall. We've got plenty of health. You know what? They got no cards in their hand. They just have the hollow. Do they know how to use the hollow? Okay, they do know how to use the hollow. They don't know how to trade, but they do know how to click the button to make the hollow give them things. Okay. No. I mean, don't want to ratify the firewall. Yeah, no. Nah. No. Deadly Arsenal, trade in the 5 2, which will become, or 5 3. GP, hit face with the 1. I don't know. Or kill this. Probably kill that, uh, I guess. Yeah. Deadly right. Arsenal, the 3 2. Trade. Trade. GP. Pray for your entire life to draw a demo at random. Yeah, just bug into a demo or a therial or something. Oh my goodness. Please. Just draw an Ember Oni out of nowhere that doesn't exist in the deck. It's fine. No one's watching. No one's gonna notice. Come on. Come on, devs. No one's even gonna know. That's right, Dawn. We're praying. That's cool. Cursed Kaipara. That's cool. Super Curse. Super cool. I just got to click Slayer nine times. I mean, how hard is that? Yeah, not hard. Right? Oh, actually, this is four more damage to face. I need to click Slayer seven times. Fuck it. Let's just ping this guy. Ping this guy's face until he dies. That sounds like a good plan because I like to win. <laughs> Logic checks out. Are you gonna ping his face as well? It's hilarious. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the, actually the thing. Oh my one mole. That's actually pretty crazy, yeah, because that helps us kind of. Except for them killing us first. We can just ratify the Pact Fiend. Yeah. And legitimately ping them until we win. Like, actually, kind of possible. We actually oh have my Savage Strike. Goodness. So ratify GP this turn. Next turn, we can Savage Strike. Oh, for sure. For sure. Do we ever... Um... I, I mean, you're GPing here, right? But do you, gotcha. are you ever pinging anything else? Right. Uh... I wonder. I think so. Probably not. Just hit that damn face, because next turn... The only thing would be to ping the 2-2 two -two for Savage Strike next turn. But we can do that next turn if we want to do that, right? We don't you could do ping that the now. Hollow here, man. 
get the ward off. It's a 2-3, and then Savage Strike kills it. Yeah. Is that better than one damage to face here? He's either on a 5 or a 6 turn timer, right? Are we living 5 turns to that board? It does 5 damage times can attack 5. With we this. do not live. Yeah, this... Oh, this can't attack, though, right? Because abilities. All right, 2... 6. So, yeah, we're not going to... Savage Strike's going to clear out a bunch of it, though. You're I not am... not wrong there. Ping his face, dude. Be yeah. a man. Like, we can't be hitting Ward here because it is extremely flaccid play. Math checks out. Yeah. Five damage is five damage, six damage. We on a four turn clock, is it? We're fucked here. Nah, because we're gonna kill them all out. Clear them all out. They're gonna have zero damage on a on a infinity turn clock because we're winning. That's we're winning. Math. We're winning. This is a winning play. We're winning. Let's go. Winning because we need to take Villy's gods tokens and redistribute them to Twitch chat. That's what I'm talking Pink about for tech. That's what I'm talking about. Did they just play? What? The fuck? I don't know. He's just trolling you. <laughs> Is he trolling me? Which would make it even more delicious when we win. You gonna get rid of that front line? You're right. Uh, this yeah, hit this yeah 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 yeah, and then yeah okay. Literally winnable. Every game is winnable. I mean, right now anything's possible. Obviously, GP. And then, I mean, we could ping this. We still have two pings left, which gets us one more Slayer, so we might as well kill this first. Objections? I like it. Okay, I good. like it. What's kill the it afterlife? Play the one drop. They're going to get a 1-1 one, one from it. Yeah, yeah, get rid of that. I mean, just ping it. Ping, ping, ping it anyway. And I'll just play the drop. imbecile for sure. This might be fucking wrong, because then next turn we're going to want to ping his face. <laughs> well, next turn, ping face. Next turn after that, ping face. That gets them down to six, and then three Slayers. So yeah, three turns from here. I think that was... That was correct. We Seven, were... head there, five, yeah. What are you thinking? I was just going to say... Uh, I forget what I was going to say, but it seems... Uh, I couldn't have left the board full, no. You mean before Savage Strike? We definitely couldn't have. After yeah, Savage we could have waited. He would have been faster. I mean, you're acting like he has no cards in his hand. You're acting like he has no cards. No, no, this is classic Twitch chat logic, where the logic makes total sense if they have no cards and do nothing else. Yeah, if they only have the creatures on board and make no other moves. No, this is some fucking chat logic. No, I push back. <sighs> okay, so we just jam, they, that. jam this, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to block. Ping that fucking face, too. Can't play anything to board. Wait, ping, 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 ping with your right, 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 right. For sure, for sure. This is classic chat logic where you guys act like there's no other plays in the game. And I'm not buying it. He was board locked though. Like they, they, they have a little bit of a point. I don't wanna I don't wanna play devil's advocate here. But we take six here regardless, so I think it's literally irrelevant in this in this case. Yeah, I just I've learned not to let chat give me shit. <laughs> yeah. They're stuck keck wing in hell. While I do what I want. <clears throat> Oof. Interesting. But it's only six. Dude, what the fuck? This is so winnable. I know, it's crazy. Oh my cool. god, the best card in the deck. Amazing. Two turns! Tiny <laughs> sheep. Yeah, the random Primal Guidance. Is that why he played Primal Guidance? Was he trying to clear his own board? That would actually make sense. Maybe that's why. Maybe he did the math Maybe. and he was trying to clear his own board. Yeah. Or they have winner's bounty like Obi is pointing out and I would have lost if I listened to chat. Am I about to die? Fuck. That's 13. Oh, no. That's 13. That's pause. 13. Pray for the pause. Pause, please. Oh! I, oh that's Frontline. And I can buff it, dude. And I can buff it. Yeah. 
Okay, that's our best shot. We probably win. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. We can't let chat have this. <laughs> I'm picturing Don's smug face right now. Doing the math. Doing math in his mind like some kind of fucking wizard. And I can't let him have this win. I can't. Oh, you are a jokester. You have no Amazons. I already sheeped. Oh, that, that, is a, that is a thing, but you don't have enough. You don't have enough. That is an Amazon, but you don't have enough. No, 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 no. That's not rip. 10 damage to face right now. 10 damage to face. They have three mana. No war class. Not much face. I guess death. No, they, yeah, death could do it. If you're going to play uh, uh, four damage to both of us, then oh, -ho, just do it. look at that. Oh, yeah, Ragnarok, etc. We win. We win. We win. We win. Oh, let's go. What the fuck, man? Let's go, we didn't dude. believe. I believed and I was I was rewarded. I was rewarded. I was rewarded for my belief. We're taking all of Illy's money, dude. <laughs> nice sir. Let's go, dude. Oh my god. So good. Oh my god. Can't believe we won that, man. Oh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> That's oh why you God. shouldn't retire runs early, because, like, the triumph in winning with a bad pool. If he kept that removal he wasted, he probably wins there. I mean, if he trades in the looter on turn two, he wins. <laughs> Let's talk about that. If he trades in the encumbered looter on turn two instead of hitting face, and then again on turn three. I mean, there was mistakes made for sure. He either <laughs> thought it would go face or clear one of his, yeah. Uh, that was... He could have gotten rid of Herc without trading. True. Yeah, very true. We got lucky all over the place. So that's what this deck requires. That's the thing about TCGs is like... Everyone thinks about winning against the best players. You can also just play against fish. Poker mentality. Find the fish, bro. I mean, it's kind of hard to do because you just go into a random-ass cube. Uh, you can hope for fish. Sometimes you just need your opponent to fucking... Blow it. Queuing up now. Oh, I see how it is, Obi. Very funny. Very funny. Great joke. Yeah, much easier in poker with table selection. Well, not these days. They've actually changed a lot with online poker. In real life, that's how it works. That was actually funny, Obi. GG. Good, good comeback. Yeah, Don. I mean, in poker, you can actually do that. I mean, th that's something I think about, though, because... It is a thing, like, to some extent, you know? I do that with the meta sometimes, where it's like, there are decks that are really hard to win with, and there's decks you can just kind of, like, chill and get mythic, and it's not as hard. It's like, that's kind of the closest equivalent, is, like, finding an easier-to-pilot deck. You can kind of farm the fish by just teching against aggro war and embracing the fact that you lose more control deck against more control decks. That's kind of the equivalent. That's like me running, like... Control death that loses to control really easily, but just farms aggro war. It's kind of like that, I guess. I don't know. TCGs are kind of different, though. It's one of the good things about TCGs. Like, if you're not trying to play your best, then you're kind of just losing. Which, unless you're, like, at really low ranks, so in which case you just can have fun clicking buttons. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Four and one. We got to win one more to take Villy's money. Um, mm. send back Arsenal, or are we not wanting to do that? Yeah, I mean, I swear we have more one drops. Yeah, we do. All right, send it. Send it back. <sighs> we don't. Fuck. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You, you can you can get molded and yell fuck if you want. Welcome to my hey, world. You're gonna coin that Griffin, right? I am obviously going to coin the Griffin. Anything else would be ludicrous. Big time, big time. Big time ludicrous. And we're not talking about the hype Web3 MMO dropping preseason soon. We're talking about gods. You win on big time? You, you playing? 
Nah, man, my PC can't even run it, eh? Oh, wait, actually, nah, tell a lie. I can run it, and I didn't get past the demo because I insta-died twice to some fucking lasers, and I was like, none of this shit. I don't know. That's fair. You can't play by yourself. Without a team, it's literally unplayable. So that would make sense if you tried to play solo. That's what happened to me, is I kind of, like, didn't have a group, so I just never got to play. Hmm. It's literally, like, you can't do shit by yourself. Not even, like, it's a little harder. It's, like, unplayable solo. That's the weird thing about it. Yeah, it's the last reset, Don. I'm actually going to grind it pretty hard for a few days and see what's good. Just seems like everyone's going to be on it. Okay, so they do become a 3-2 here, which makes me feel like the carpet might have been a better play the whole time. Feeling a little I'm bit saying. like a clown. Um, That's my bad right there, man. You know, I went with it because you sounded confident and I didn't want to think, so I just went with it. But in retrospect, I also... Wait, 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 wait. Could have Maybe seen it. it changes the play. Uh, do you want me to kill a 1-1? Maybe we just metamorphosis that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. This thing's going to keep getting stronger, but I guess flying carpet. No, because the 1-1 one, is going to kill my carpet. God, that's sad. Yeah, just metamorphosis, literally. All right. I'm going to get a juicer, please, question mark. And then we're going to get two oh, removals somehow. Big juicer. That's... Still fucking dies, though. <laughs> oh, but it trades into both of them. That's better than some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better than some bullshit. Okay, cool. Cool. HBK. Amazing. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, I guess. That's very good, very good, very good. I mean, if we're lucky, it'll hit the boil blood. Yeah, we're going to coin the carpet too. Just play it all. Yeah, just and do I bang the uh, protect? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Bang the protected. Give him a choice. This is bad, bro. I don't know. These 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 six drops are no joke, and we kind of like that too, right? Keep it, you think? Maybe not, but it's so fucking. We have four bloody. mana. So next turn we have nothing, and then the turn after I could arc mage. Oh, that's so painful bottoming we that. Can't, we can't do it. We can't keep it. There's no no shot. No shot. Oh, that is pain. It's pure pain. You're we right. have three mana. Not even four. Three mana. We can't go six, six, six. That's the devil. Damn, we should have done. Wait, we're at three mana? Yeah, now you're right. Eh? Yeah. Fuck. We, now. we could We could be drawing a seven drop here, though, too, you know? Oh, yeah. Hercules, the only seven drop. I could totally draw it. But there's plenty of fives in here, I believe. Are there's you, a lot. Are seven fives? Yes. So that's what we're hoping for. That's definitely what we're hoping for. Okay. 50, 50. Hit the 5-1. Do it, you bitch. Marks. Nice, dude. Nice. All right, we lost the game on turn one. Ooh, that is hiking. Ooh, good match. Well played. GG's. Yes. So good. Awesome. Fucking oh. yes. Hell yes. Oh, yeah, we both missed the boil blood. It was, it was noob. Noob shit. Oh well. Uh, hey, GG, got him. This will be easy. Damn, dude, we. I feel like we could have won this one. For I real. think if we, we played turn one different, it would have been a different game for sure. Yeah, firewall maybe. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if we survive this turn, I don't know if we can. Except that freaking deadly arsenal did just do anything. Nah, because they can here. trade the six one. It doesn't make a difference. Oh, you did though. Otherwise. Um. Then we're. Uh. Yeah, that's that's fair. A good point. Reasonable point. But, you know, but I I've mean, it, counterpoint. Counterpoint is that only nerds care about that. <laughs> yep. uh, <sighs> End the suffering, honestly. End it. End it on that one. 4 2. We need to win this. That was hella winnable, man. That's but. mutual fail to notice the thing, yeah. I see it's contagious. My distractibleness, my distractibleness is contagious. Apparently. I guess we just don't have the aggro blood gene, you know? 
Oh, Vili was born with it. We can't even adopt it. Okay, we're going to win this one. Actually going to win this one. Channel your inner Viking. Just think like Vili would think. That's the thing, is Vili was calling plays that I wouldn't have even considered. It was actually pretty interesting. Like, I was like, yeah, okay. There was a couple of the games where I was just like, oh, I'd probably do this. And he's like, yeah, do that. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, do that other thing. Other, not what you said. Do this thing. And I'm like, okay. And then it's completely right. And I'm like, well, wow. The man is a wizard. They're rank seven. All right, I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay, good draw. Great draw. Fantastic. Yep. Oh, good. Wonderful. Excellent. Nice. Uh... Right when I need it. The bestie and the resty. Exactly, Don. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know precisely. The way only a man who played Gods Unchained all last night could understand. Oops. Wow. Okay. Pipping out thievery. So we gotta just go jail beast. Hope we draw something playable. <sighs> That's just it. You gonna pip it out? Yeah, it's the Viking way. It's the Viking way. Yep. You said we have to play like the Vikings and they would pip it out. They would pip it. That's 100%. Guaranteed. At least we have Savage. Yeah. It's a card. It's a good card, yeah, and it's three mana, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be a useful three mana card in this spot. Are they trading? Well, no, they can't. Oh, they got Blitz from that, yeah. So we get a 1-1 one -one off of this. Yeah, Savage Strike's not going to help very much here. But on the plus Indeed. side, we drew a 7 drop. That's fantastic. Okay, well, we got a very aggressive Firewall to play next turn. Honestly, that Firewall is probably going to carry. That thing is so sick. In so Sealed, nasty. it's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah. Because the whole thing in Constructed is Blade of White Plane exists, and in Sealed, it does not exist, so... Cards like Firewall are just insane. I mean, it kind of soloed us last time. We beat that Firewall deck, man. Oh, that was two games ago, you're right. Yeah. Bound by her will. Don't say that, Obi. Don't even say that. They could be. I could live with the fear. Um, it's an option. Dude, you know, Obi makes a great point. We probably petard. Can't play around stuff? That's the thing. Do we play around that, though? Like, Yep. They, yeah, yeah, you do? Yep. You'll get hella punished. Ugh. That will not be good. The worst part is that you're right. That's the worst part. It's actually more aggressive anyway, so it's super right. Yeah. Less punishable and more aggressive. It hits both of the things. And we can just go right into Zaxium. Yeah, you're right. Nah, you're right. I wanted to play Firewall. But I'm glad you were here to hold me back. Get me on the right path. <laughs> I try. It's the only way. Other communities can chase the views. We're chasing the friendship. This is Gods Unchained. Um. All right. Oh, well, we can trade in the elder into that if we want. We don't trade. We hit face right every we time. Hit face every time, possibly. Oh, they are gonna do the attacking. Okay. But what tribe is this? Anything? No. Bad. The so firewall could activate Nivos, interestingly. Uh, ooh, There's still the whole risk of what if they have bound by her will. Yeah, I think we just exact same. You would firewall here. I am YOLOing. Sorry, I can't stop myself. Damn, this That's... guy's... If we get punished... We are not going to get punished. They are not going to punish. 
No bound by her will. You're not going to play bound by her will. You're not going to play it. Merciless, more like hapless. You got nothing. That's exactly, well, that's not exactly what I was thinking, OB. That, that's kind of exactly what I was thinking. Levy? No one has light, Dictator. No one has light right now. Bound by her Ooh. will was the threat. Wake up. We can savage the Highland. Yeah. It's too bad we can't play another creature if we do that, but... 100% seems... doing it. It's just is the only play here. I can yeah, also arsenal just to keep getting more face damage. I mean, they're four turns from death at that point. It's pretty fucking sick. If you want to do it, I... You wouldn't do I... that? What would you do? I mean, GP is just so mana efficient. I guess Nevos to kill the 5-3. You're not killing the 5-3 in this spot? Yeah, no, no. Definitely Savage Strike the 5-3. That's like the first thing. Oh, but then instead of arsenal, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see. I can GP because of the efficiency. I see. Okay. Uh, I mean, either way, it's a plus two damage this turn. I'm just going to rip it. You can stick it if you want. Honestly, it's just, like, not the worst. Oof, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh oh. I don't know. I don't, have time. I don't have time to indulge yeah. these sounds that you're making. The rope is ticking. What is the uh oh? I was thinking. I guess. Rapture Dance is a possibility. There's a lot of things. Iron Copus. This is alright. Never seen that before. The fuck is that? 5-2 Blitz? 5-1 Blitz? No, 5-2, but now it's 5-1. Yeah, I mean, strong. they're down to 13, and we just slay her till we win, so that's cool. Not this turn, though, I guess. We'll Zaxium and just not play Spirit, or I can Spirit the Nevos, I guess. Yeah. I'd spirit the myth of Nivos at this point. It's just kind of nothing. You, you, you want best goals, right? Yeah, so we can get rid of this first and then look for best. Keep your fives over Hercules? I mean... Get, get rid of that fucking five right now, the Nivos. Keep yeah. Hercules. I'm keeping Hercules, OB. Uh, this, that's just how it's going to be, bro. Hell no. Yeah, we ain't... I mean, like, shit, man. You can't be doing that, man. You can't be doing that, bro. You can't get be... Get rid of Hercules? You crazy? You were thinking about not playing the one drop? I think I played the one drop because I'm a Viking. I mean, maybe not playing the one drop is better, honestly. Considering how much value the five is that we tossed away the four or five. I don't know. Dude, now we have two face damage and tomb cover GP. It's perfect. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, GG. And I mean, Vili is about to finished. give everybody a sealed run, and it's going to be great. And by everybody, I mean one of you. It's going to be freaking lit. That, that was cringe. Freaking lit? The fuck? Why did I say that? It's going to be fucking dank. There you go. That's better. Okay. No time oh, to think. Too busy mind. winning. Nope, no time to think. No time to think. We're Too just busy. going, going, going. Too busy winning. He doesn't play heals. He just has the nature god. There's Literally no there. heals. Literally no board clears. Literally no outs. Guaranteed victory. If he plays winner's bounty... Uh, Hercules will be fine. There's no way we're going to lose, dude. It's destined to get five wins with this shitty deck. Ashko. This is how Meppo does it. This is how H-Pain does it. Just win even if your pool sucks. That's the key. Front line. <laughs> yeah, I mean, by a turn. Like I give a fuck. Is it easier to play at this time of day? Like, is everyone drunk or something? Like, these games are different from the games I play in the morning, I feel like. I feel like everyone's yeah. drunk. Whoa! Okay, yep. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was alarmed. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, damn, you whipped that GP out there like it was lethal. What, you think I'm going to play Hercules here? Hell nah. 
Maybe, I don't know. Hell Too nah. Sure. Two <laughs> off lethal. He would have healed last yeah. turn. Hell nah. If I play Hercules, we also win. I guess it might have been better. Oh my god. I just, the nature cards. Nah, 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 nah. Easy, 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 easy. You got the fear in you. I'm fearless. You got the fear inside of you. I mean, we played, we played around Bound by Hill while I was, that was interesting. For a turn, then we played Firewall after, but that was, that was the right play there, probably. Yeah. GG. Billy, you still here? He's probably asleep or some GG. shit. We'll DM him. I'll just DM him and give me money. Can we get to seven? Easily, bro. You're here? Aw, oh, damn. If you weren't here, I was going to DM you, give me money, and it was going to be funny. Send me your ETH on Discord? Yeah. I'm not doing this to be a dick. I'm just doing it because it's the easiest way for me to get it, is to use the command. I'm not doing this as like, oh, look, it was right here the whole time. It just happens to be the easiest way. But I did also just DM it to you. Yeah, guys, when the run is over, we can give away two, two sealed runs. One from Vili and one from me. Neither one of us thought we'd get to five wins. Neither one of us thought we'd get to five wins, but here we are. If we get to seven, I'll match that. Jeez! If we get to seven, we're giving away three runs. Let's go! Trey's getting in. Let's go. Hell yeah. I'm glad I went live. Nice little Sunday night stream. We're doing this. This is so good, because when I stream in the morning, I'm, like, thinking about the whole day. And now I'm thinking about games, and then after games, I don't have to do anything. This is fucking great. I love night streams. Gods have been sent. Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, contributing some gods for the stream and for also crafting the deck that somehow made this possible. Pay to lose OG rank 9. Strong sixth win energy. Okay, let's lock in. Let's lock in. Let's lock in. Uh, send back the staff, right? No, we keep that staff. You think? Yeah, yeah. Get rid of the Valka, maybe. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That's good. Keep it, you think? I mean, uh, it's some. Yeah, we I guess probably, our... we could probably get rid of the spear soul if you want. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. shot. No, no, no. You're you're smoking crack. I I was thinking maybe the staff of shards. I like the staff. Staff are really good. Yeah, you like this more than me, which is fine. We'll keep it. I was a little skeptical on that. Oh boy. Staff. I'd staff immediately, maybe. Okay. Just because the ping. Hmm. And so you're not getting any value out of the ass assistant if you unless you pay unless you pip. Yeah, I mean they can just kill it for free basically. This is also the same scenario. So no, nah, you're right. You're right. Okay, the staff's the best turn one play. I was wrong. Amazon Spear Soul kind of sucks in this spot. All right, I see how it is. I was wrong. It's all good. It's all amazing. It's amazing. Uh, you ever drink a beer, but it takes you like three hours? <laughs> no, it's a me thing. Uh, I would never finish it after three hours. It gets so stale, right? And warm. <sighs> nah, it tastes great. Really? Wow. Honestly, it tastes fine. Yeah, that, I didn't even notice it tastes worse. It gets a little warm, is all. Warms up to room temp. Yeah. That sounds Cold nasty. Interesting. Bitter. Sometimes I just drink it really slowly because I'm not paying attention. I don't drink the way I smoke. When I smoke, I'm like trying to accomplish a result. I want to feel the feeling. With the drinking is more of like a... I like to feel a little buzz, but I don't like to get drunk anyway. I'm like really... Sometimes I'm just sipping, you know what I mean? And then 
I'll, I'll just like sip forever for like so slowly. I just, I mean, I just finished this beer. I just did it. It's like three hours in the stream. Guess it's just me. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, rough. This is rough. Yeah. So options are to ping this or ping that. The cheat, the Orpheo is such a strong power. We have literally no good plays. Regen one. Really I'd cool. probably coin both the minions here. And then, do we want to cons? If I ping this, then they can't hit the two two without dying. Is there any reasonable? Uh, is that reasonable at all? Honestly. Or just describe. I think. I think we're just doing the scry immediately. Okay. I mean, it's not warm, Ob. Like it was cold from the fridge when I started drinking it, and it like got to like, you know, like not like warm, like like it's been heated up. Just like it's not cold. It's like you know, it's it's like in the middle. It's middle, middle temp, room temp. Room temperature isn't really warm, you know. Like if a beer was like, you know, like warm, that would be gross. Like if it was in the back of a hot car. It was like hot. That, that's gross. That's warm to you. I feel like it's worse in your head than it is in reality. I don't know. Either that or I just, I don't know. Like it doesn't even taste any worse. Like I drank the beer. The flavor, kind of the same when it's room temp. I don't know. It's definitely more refreshing when it's cold. That's oh, interesting. That's interesting you guys reacted that way. I didn't expect that. Interesting. I'll say I'll say in New Zealand there's lots of binge drinking culture, so it's not very common to do that kind of thing here. That's fair. Like you guys are just drinking like harder. You're not gonna have a beer and nurse it. That's actually like blasphemous, apparently, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I, I think I'm kinda odd because my family, like everyone No one drinks much. Like everyone I can think of, like growing up was like two beers and done. So I was really lucky in that sense, of course. But it's just like, I never saw anyone getting drunk when I was growing up. Like, I saw people drinking a little bit. And so that's kind of the example that I always had. But more than that, I think I just, when I was younger, I could not handle alcohol. So, like, I kind of just learned to not drink too much. That shit does I mean, not work. You guys work. can't drink till you're 21, right? That's crazy. Legally, yeah. I mean, I was drinking in college, so a little bit before that. Most kids yeah. start drinking in high school, to be honest, which is not a good idea, but it is what it is. I waited till college. My parents bought me beer on the way in. Like, I got there. I was, like, 18, 19, and my mom, like, this is, like, before my parents got divorced. My mom, like, looked at my dad, and she's just like, well, we got to buy him some beer. <laughs> my dad's like, oh, uh, yeah, okay. And then they got me, like, a 24-pack of whatever. I think it was an 18-pack of Miller High Life, if I can remember correctly. They're like, hey, you're at college now. Take some beer with you. Make some friends. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, jeez, dude. What a sad match here. Fucking sad. This one's brutal. Like, we were so optimistic, chilling, and then we get this match with nothing we can play. You need ice with all your drinks, even cold refrigerated drinks? Yeah, sounds like you're being a little bit picky, you know? But hey, if you got a wife that'll put up with it, then you win. Once you got a wife who'll deal with your bullshit, hey, you get to just do whatever. You're good. You can be that way. If you were a single man, I'd say maybe uh, you need to learn to be a little less picky with your fucking ice in your drinks, but I don't think you got it just the way you like it, so. I'm all for it. I'm not that picky about temperature. I prefer cold drinks a lot of the time, but I don't know. If my beer comes out of the fridge, I'm pretty happy. All right, kill the scryer. And then all I can do is play Lupine. That's literally the only thing other than GP. So. Yeah. And then next turn, we can, I guess, golem before the claws, maybe? We'll see. Never. Yeah. Don't take advice from me. It sounds like you got your life more together. When you're a single and you're 32, you just don't really give advice to people who have families. You're like, all right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Some dude's like 29 with three kids. It's like, yep, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> Good job. Well done. I'm playing video games in my apartment. Okay. Okay. So, 
is it just for show. golem all day yeah there's no consideration i mean claws can't even kill this so right. yeah all righty and that actually works with nivos right uh yeah it's an atlantean assuming it survives all right i like the nivos now it's interesting we only have the golem and the firewall so we don't have much synergy yeah, finally. We had one other chance to get value like this, but we didn't even end up using it. We were so optimistic going into this match. It's not over yet. It's actually looking like we could stabilize. Oh my fucking interesting, god. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Don't hit it first, please. Thank you. Woo. Maybe, oh, I mean, shit. I think, because now, okay. I think we best close face, man. Face? Yeah. Don't we want a Nevos? And then... I mean, that mirror clears our whole board, like... Right, so we'd have to hope we hit it next turn and then somehow get to Hercules, even though that seems unlikely. I guess. Yeah. I could play I would, Nevos would... and just do three damage to this. I mean, it's going to survive, or, or to this, I guess. Uh, I just... I don't... Ooh, Nelly. I don't see Bass. I think they're both losing, but I think I'm going to choose Nevos here. Oh, it's random. I didn't realize it was random. That's fun. It hit what I wanted it to hit, so I guess maybe. Uh, I could make it a six drop or something. Don't touch this, the golem. Uh, holy shit. Can that mirror hit? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's so bad. I'm just going to eat this metamorphosis out here. All right, 5-6. That dies to the thing. That's cool. I mean, they don't have... Don't waste oh it. Gosh. I mean, I wasn't really trying to waste it. I was trying to get an upgrade from 4-5 to something. I don't know. I wouldn't call it a waste. I would say it's an ambitious play. I would say it was ambitious. The word I would choose there. I mean, listen, we're chilling. Six health is all it takes. We could just play Hercules here. We'd actually have some hope. Oh, but then we can't play anything else, but we still have to do it. And then next turn we can Hercules. Yeah, Otherwise I mean, he can hide it, but uh, he can hide it and win anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Well, so hold the phone. I think we just best close the three to and they have lethal next turn on board. And then they have lethal next turn. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, I guess we gotta we have to savage strike, right? Let's stick it's with the fucking... savage. I mean we're dead as fuck, but this delays it a turn at least, I guess. Yeah. We're both just like We're both like, how about this play? And they're both just absolutely losing. Losing. I mean, I mean can... actually, this is technically winnable. You know what? I take it back. That's looking bad. Whenever it takes damage, double its strength. Now right. we lose. Uh, guaranteed. Right, because they can still hide it. Yeah, they have lethal on board. All right. Oh, well, it was it was fun while it lasted. Five and three, classic. Well, five and three with the worst pool Villy's ever seen is actually pretty good. I'd you say it gets worse. You know, there are worse things than that. And you saved yourself 15 God's tokens, you know? Money back guarantee, yeah. If I wasn't giving oh, it to you, dorks. Break even. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. 